Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to the act series. <laughs> and today we're going to act by doing a 30 minute jump rope cardio with core. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do two, uh, we're going to do an activity with our core for a time set on the mat. We're going to get up and we're going to do a minute of jump roping. Now I have these fancy jump ropes that I've talked about before, and it's just a way to kind of give that feedback and and get you going if you have space for a regular jump rope you can grab that otherwise you can also do it right here and just pretend now if you don't want to jump you're going to hop you're going to step but you're going to do quickly right we want to get that heart rate up there then we'll go back down to the mat we'll do some activities it'll be a lot of fun up and down we're going to get a lot of core work we're going to get that heart pumping and we're going to have an amazing time so grab your sweat towel your drink and of course your great attitude let's get this thing rocking Okay, so hope you had a chance to grab a jump rope if you're doing that. Your mat, your sweat towel, drink, and your great attitude is so. Let's get warmed up. Let's start just opening that chest and kicking that leg back there. Give me a little bit of a bounce, right? We want to get that heart rate up there a little bit as we warm up for three, two, last one. Let's take that elbow to the opposite knee and give me a little bit of a bounce right there. Boom, boom, boom. Three more like this. Two more. Last one. This time, let's kick that leg out straight. Oh yeah, hello hamstrings. Oh, one more on each side. Oh yeah. Let's touch down and reach up. Boom. And back getting those legs moving and feeling amazing and that whole body warmed up. Two more. Last one. Let's do a squat. Let's do a lunge. Just getting those legs moving. Squat it. Lunge it. Squat it. Lunge it. Oh. Yeah, last one, squat it out here, and then let's hinge back, and hinge down, hinge back, hinge down, three more just like that, oh, that feels so good, right? Last one, and then we're going to grab those toes or those ankles, we're going to go deep, press those knees back, go deep, press those knees back, two more, last one. Okay, we're gonna stay low and open up those hips as low as you can go. It's okay if it's not as low. And then we're gonna put those hands down. We're gonna take one hand and we're gonna reach up towards the ceiling and just give it a nice good trunk twist. Oh, it feels so good, right? Nice good twist. Kind of getting that thoracic spine moving. Last one. Let's take those hands right there. We're gonna do a cat and cow. In and out. Get that mid back, that low back. Three more, just like that. Two more. Last one. Let's open up those hips and drag that shoulder to the opposite knee. Right there. This time what we're going to do is we're going to go down as low as you can go. Get that inner thigh. Other side. Then you go low and pop that toe up. Come on back. Come on up. Let's go down to the mat. Let's do some walkouts. Whew. Okay, so we're gonna do a nice good walk out. Give me that weight bearing in the shoulders and back. Come on out and back. This time let's go out and let's drop into quadrupeds. Sink those shoulder blades in and out, keeping those elbows straight. Three, two, last one. Stick that foot out and sit on down right there. Give that hip a little bit more. Last one. This time we're gonna lift up, thread the needle, and sit down, getting that mid back. And that hip, last time. Come on in here, we're gonna do a big hip circle right there. Oh yeah, hip circle the other direction. Nice work. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Sit back on that hip right there, boom. Boom. Boom, this time let's lift up. Thread that needle and down. One more time. Big hip circle on this side. Oh yeah. Let's circle it the other way. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down. We're gonna press up, come back, sit back into child's pose. One more like that. Press up, come back, sit back in child's pose. This time let's do a frog. Open up that hip. Ooh yeah. Come back in one more time. 
press up, come back, sit back into child's pose. And then let's talk about what we're gonna do, okay? We're gonna start with plank dips, okay? So I'm gonna be in that low plank position. I'm gonna rotate into a T position, dip that hip, and come back in. Now, we're gonna do two rounds. If you wanna do right and then left, or you can alternate for both rounds. If that's up to you, we're just gonna pause in between that second round though, and roll, and then we'll pause and grab that jump rope at the end. Are you ready to try this with me? Here we go, three, two, one. First, find that nice good plank position, rotate to the side, tap that down, back up. Again, now, if your legs are stacked and close together, it's more challenging. If you need to, you can drop that bottom leg down, Okay, it's all it's doing is lessening the weight. You're still getting the action. It's just that you can't quite control all that weight. That's okay. Just like doing a lower dumbbell, right? Come on, down and up. 15 more seconds. We're gonna pause. We'll do another set, okay? Come on. Woo! You're doing awesome. Hang in there. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's pause the other side. Here we go in three, two. One, find that plank position, come on up. Again, we're gonna pause after this, and we're gonna grab that jump rope, and we're gonna work for one a minute. Keep it down, come on up. Nice and controlled, you're doing awesome. Hang in there. Stay steady, come on. Woo, 15 more seconds. All the way to that buzzer. Here we go. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Let's do the jump rope. Come on, here we go. In three, two, one. Boom. Come on. Like I said, you don't have to jump, okay? You can tap, okay? You can hop. This is pretty fancy. Getting that heart rate up there. We're gonna go down and we're gonna do mermaid crunches next, okay? Stay steady, you're doing awesome. Come on. Woo! Stay as as you can go. 30 more seconds. Stay controlled. Come on. Push that heart rate. You're going. Come on. Woo! 15 more seconds. Whew. I still hit myself with the jump rope, even with these, right? All the way to that buzzer. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Okay, we're doing mermaid crunches. Okay, so I'm gonna grab that foot so on that side, take that elbow, crunch that knee to that elbow. I'm gonna do one side, and then flip to the other on the round two. Woo, baby, heart rate's up there. Oh yeah, ready to rock the mermaid crunches? Of course you are. Here we go, and we've got three, two, one, let's go. Boom, and back down. Crunch that up, and back. Really pull those knees up, try and, you may not be able to get that elbow all the way to that knee, but you're gonna try. Okay, you're pulling from below, and you're crunching up from top. Boom, meeting in the middle. Fifteen more seconds. We'll pause and flip sides. Right, we gotta even ourselves out. <laughs> Here we go. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Okay, other side, here we go in three, two, one, boom, and back down. And then remember, we're gonna just hop on up and get those jump ropes started. Boom, back down, come on. Crunch it up, bring it back down, nice and controlled. Exhale as you crunch up, inhale as you crunch down. Oh yeah, boom, back up. You've got 15 more seconds. And then we're doing that, ah, I was gonna say an hour, oh my goodness, no. A minute of <laughs> jump rope. Totally different if I was saying an hour. Here we go, four, three, two, 
One, okay, let's grab that jump rope. Here we go, three, two, one, boom. Okay, we're gonna do pulling shoulder tap today. So I'm gonna be in a tall plank position. I'm gonna shoulder tap, shoulder tap. Then I'm gonna do a knee drive to each elbow, okay? That's what we got next. Distracting you from the jump rope. Woo. Okay, have some fun with it. You got 30 more seconds. Like I said, hop forward, hop back, hop side to side. Come on, kick it out however you want. Oh yeah, come on. 15 more seconds. Oh yeah. All the way to that buzzer, come on. Woo. Yeah, baby. Five, four, three, two, one. And rest. Nice job. Okay, so I'm going to be in that tall plank position. Okay, so I'm going to be in tall plank position. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap. Then I'm going to drive that knee into that elbow on each side. The key is finding that nice plank position and maintaining it. Do the best you can, right? Work hard. You can totally do this. Let's rock this. Are you ready? Let's get in position. In three, two, one. I first want you to find that nice plank position. Then your shoulder tapping, then your knee driving. Okay? Now, the key is that you don't have to have that knee touch the elbow, but I'm really working hard at not letting those hips at all move. Boom. Once you get a little bit better, you can speed that pattern up just a little bit. Come on. Okay, keep that pelvis nice and tight. Those hips are facing the ground. They're not rocking back and forth. Come on, stay stable. 10 more seconds, we'll pause and reset. Four, three, two, one. Let's pause, let's reset. Here we go, three, two, one. Again, find that plank position. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap. Knee drive, knee drive. And remember, we're grabbing the jump ropes after this, because that sounds like fun. I know sometimes I think you think, what is your phone now, Kim? <laughs> Woo. Sometimes my fun is the result of what I'm doing, not necessarily the moment I'm doing them, okay? Woo. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's grab those jump ropes. Here we go. Three, two, one. Rock that baby. Woo. Come on. Having some fun, right? Maybe having fun loving the results, right? Keeping that heart rate pumped. It does a couple things. One, we're burning some calories. Okay, we're getting some cardio in there. Getting that heart pumping, blood flowing, but we're also making it a little more challenging in that core work when our heart rate's elevated, okay? So multitasking here. We're gonna go down and we're gonna do a boat position. Okay, we're gonna try and touch the toes and then we'll do a rainbow Russian twist, okay? That's our combination. 15 more seconds. You got it, come on. You're rocking it. You're doing awesome. Oh yeah, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Sometimes talking and jump roping may not be my best. Okay, so I'm gonna be in that boat position on that sit bone. I'm gonna try and touch my toes, and then I'm gonna take my hands all the way up and over and touch each side, okay? So I'm keeping that core engaged. The higher you are up, the easier it is. The lower, the more challenging. You do not have to touch your toes, but moving in that direction. Three, two, one, okay? And then reaching up and over. Maybe you can only touch one foot at a time, okay? Instead of both, and you're doing a nice good reach and a rainbow. So we're getting those lower abs by toe touching. We're getting those obliques by moving into that rainbow. And of course, we're getting our rectus abdominis, just keeping ourselves in this position. 
15 more seconds. Make sure you're getting a nice good twist. All the way to that buzzer. We've got five, four, three, two, oh, one. Let's pause one more time before we jump the rope. Three, two, one. Toe touch. Come on, boom, boom. Nice good rainbows up over that head and you're gonna touch each side. Give me that good full twist. Halfway there, and you guessed it, we gotta get that jump rope out next. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Jump rope, baby, here we go. Three, two, one, boom. Oh yeah. Okay, you're rocking it, okay? Spinning, moving, shaking. Okay, so what we're doing next is we're gonna do some ankle taps and a butterfly setup. Okay, some fun combinations, so it just kind of making it more interesting, right? Getting as much in as we can. Come on, Woo. 30 more seconds. I start thinking about it too much, and then I mess up. When I don't think about it, I'm fine with the jump rope. <laughs> Woo. Come on, 15 more seconds, almost there. All the way to that buzzer. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Nice work, okay. Back down on that mat. Okay, so what we're doing, maybe. Okay, so we're gonna do a nice good whew, ankle tap. So we've gotta reach, we gotta lift those shoulder blades up, reach for each ankle, move into butterfly, and sit up. When you move into butterfly, you're pulling from your belly button, not your shoulders. Here we go, three, two, one. Really reach for those ankles and then sit on up, come back down, reach for those ankles, okay? If you don't have to reach, okay, it's not gonna be a challenge, you're not gonna work those obliques, and you're just sliding to the side, I'm not crunching up, I'm just literally sliding to the side, and then I'll come up and give a nice good butterfly sit up. What's the advantage of a butterfly sit up? You're not using as much of those hip flexors, you're using a lot of that core. It's also why I don't want you cheating and compensating by using those shoulders. Here we go, four, three, two, one. Let's pause one more time. Here we go, three, two, one. Lift up, reach for those ankles. Butterfly, sit up, pulling from that belly button, not from the shoulder. Nice and controlled. Okay, you don't have to rush it. You gotta control and work it, baby. Boom, back down. We're gonna grab that jump rope, we're halfway through. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, jump rope, baby. Let's go in three, two, one, boom. Oh, okay, try not to throw your jump rope. <laughs> You're not the only one that might have technical difficulties, right? 15 more. Oh, sorry. That wasn't right. Not 15 more. I'll get there. We're going to do a toe touch leg drop next. Now, the easier part is to do one leg at a time. It's much more challenging to do two. I like to a lot of times do one, maybe some two, because I want to make sure I keep that control. As soon as you feel your back arch on the leg drop, then pull them back up. All you're gonna do from then on is compensate. Okay, so you gotta pay attention to that body. 15 more seconds. We're gonna reach our toes, toes, leg drop. And have some fun. 
Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So on our back again. Okay, so we're gonna reach towards those toes. We gotta get those shoulder blades up off the ground. You don't have to touch your toes. Shoulder blades up off the ground. Okay, and then you're gonna lay drop. Either one leg at a time or both. But again, as soon as you arch, then you're gonna pull that back, okay? So it's a little easier to control that with one leg at a time. Here we go. Are you ready? In three, two, one. Reach towards those toes, leg drop. For me, I'm doing alternating. I'm the leg dropping one at a time. And then the next round I'm doing two, just to control it and keep myself not too fatigued. Here we go. Woo, 10 more seconds. And then we got one more round. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's pause, reset. Here we go in three, two, one. Do you have to touch your toes? No, right? It's just that direction to crunch up and reaching towards the sky. Whew. Halfway there. We're grabbing that jump rope and about. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Jump rope, baby. Oh, yeah. In three, two, one. Let's go. Okay, guess what? We only have two more activities. We are going to do some seesaws next. We're going to be in that low plank position. We're going to rock over those shoulders. And then we're gonna do some hip drops, drop into each side. Okay, come on, stay steady. You're doing awesome. Woo. Thirty seconds left. All the way to that buzzer. Woo. Fifteen more seconds. Like I said, as soon as I start thinking about it, I mess it up. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, low plank position. I think I'm gonna go this way. Okay, I'm gonna find that low plank position. Okay, I'm gonna be in that position. I'm gonna rock up and over those shoulders. So it comes from the toes and I keep that position. Then I drop a hip, drive it up, and then drop the other side, keeping that nice, strong pelvis. You ready to try this with me? Of course you are. Here we go. Three, <laughs> two, one. Seesaw, hip drop. It feels like a rainbow. You're gonna drive it all the way up, pop it over, hip drop. Drive it up, hip drop, come on. Keeping that nice, steady pelvis, okay? It's like a, like you're a big, strong, heavy duty, like two by four, right? You're just rocking in that nice, steady position. And then to each side, come on. Okay, we're gonna pause in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, time for a reset. Here we go in three, two, one. Find that position, rock it over, and then hip drop. Ooh, baby. Nice and controlled, come on. Ooh, baby. We're halfway there. And then we're grabbing that jump rope. Come on, stay steady. 10 more seconds. All the way to that buzzer. Five, four, three, two, 
One, let's grab that jump rope. Here we go. Three, two, one. Rock that, baby. Guess what? We only have one more activity after this. Now, I know by several of you, it's not your favorite. We're gonna do some reverse planks. I know, into that tabletop. It's a challenge. It's a good way to end that, right? A challenge, and don't worry. After that, we'll finish the whole thing with some jump roping, okay? Come on, 30 more seconds. You're starting to see that finish line. Okay, give me all you got. Come on, you got this. All the way to that buzzer, 15 more seconds. Woo. Stay steady. Five, four, three, one and rest. Okay. This is it, baby. Okay. So we're gonna go into that reverse plank position. Okay, so I'm gonna come right up here, reverse. I'm gonna be steady and come up to the tabletop. Okay, if that's challenging on your wrist, we're gonna try it down below and back up. Okay, that's what you got. Okay, that can make it easier. You can also make your wrist a little more neutral. I know it's challenging, but let's rock it in three two, one, nice tall plank, tuck that in, and then come on up, tuck it in a nice tabletop. Step it out, okay? You wanna think about being able to carry food on that pelvis, right? Like you're a nice table. That's the challenge. That glute should be nicely activated, and those abs to keep that nice, good, strong pelvis position. 15 more seconds before we set and reset. Pause and reset. <laughs> oh man, my words today, I tell ya. Whew. You got it, come on. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Let's pause, reset. We got one more set in three, two, one. Here we go, up top and over. Okay, and then guess what? All we have left is a jump rope. And you're gonna be excited to know we're gonna do a little bit longer to finish out. I know, you, that's what you were asking for. That's where you're like, I hope we get to do jump rope a little bit longer. And I'm gonna meet your demands and we're gonna rock that last little bit. Whew. Come on. You got 15 more seconds of this though. Oh yeah. Whew. Stay steady, you're almost there. <laughs> I'm right there with you, it's challenging. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, oh yeah. All comes down to this. Here we go in three, two, one. Finish out strong. We're doing a minute and a half. I know. We're excited. Something like that, right? Come on. Nice work. Come on, let's go. Woo. Stay steady. Finish strong, right? All this. We finish strong. We finish in. Okay, one minute left. One third of the way there. How about that? Great. Again, think about it. Turn that up. Let's jump rope. Awesome, come on. Guess what? We only have about 30 seconds left. Okay, you're doing awesome. Almost that finish line. You're doing great. Come on, hang in there. Whoop. Somewhere I'll get that. Fifteen more seconds. I can hardly see from my sweat. Working hard with you. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Favorite word, okay. Whew, let's grab that foot, let's stretch out that quad, those jumps. Let's do the other side. Get that heart rate down, okay. We're gonna do a nice good runner's lunge. You're gonna get that heel down, knee straight. Help that pelvis, we're gonna have that hip flexor. We're getting that calf, and then we're gonna reach on over 
can get those laterals. Right, and exhale through it. Give me a little bit more of a stretch. Okay, and then we're gonna do the other side. Here we go. Sit that through. Okay, pull that forward. Reach on over. Okay, we get those calf muscles when we do those hops and jumps and explosions. We're getting that trunk that we stretch. Ooh, yeah. Okay, let's come on up. Let's pull that shoulder across. Those planks work the shoulder. Ooh. Let's do the other side. And then we're gonna take that left hip behind the right. Step on out, still getting that trunk and that hip. Oh yeah. Let's hinge down and get that hamstring. Exhale through it. And then we're gonna do the other side. Undo that. Push that hip on. Reach on over. Hinge on down. Exhale through it. And then unhinge. And I want you to just grab those elbows. Let that hang. Drop your head. We're gonna finish here in five, four, three, two, one. Slowly roll that back up. High five for rocking that. Make sure you're grabbing some water, some high quality protein, preferably in the next 30 minutes. And then every day. Hey guys, did you love that video? Do you know this is part of a series called ACT? ACT is about action changes everything. So if you're wanting results, especially during a busy season, you've got to take action. What action steps can you take? Well, you can subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss the next workout. Also, you can become friends with me on social media so you can know what the latest things are happening. And if you're wanting really help, grab her solutions. That is a place where I do my coaching and really helping women find results. I have a free Facebook group and it accesses to the coaching that you may be needing. So take those action steps. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's be friends on social media and reach out if you need coaching. It's all about action changes everything. Have a great day.